storm turned out to be a tricky one to forecast. How much snow really fell depended on where you live. We were expecting to see much more, so what happened? Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello is in the live Pinpoint Alpha 12 Forecast Center with more. Michelle? Well, it's a good reminder of just how challenging it can be to forecast weather here in southeastern New England. I mean, we're talking about a difference of only 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now, the storm is racing away today, but the main factors in keeping our snow totals less than what we had anticipated were one that the pavement was warm. I mean, it snowed and snowed and snowed in Providence before it started accumulating. And our boundary layer temperatures were very marginal. We didn't know that going into the storm. I anticipated they would cool as the heavier snow moved in and allow it to stick. But with the temperature staying at or just above freezing, we did see that uh, mixing with sleet and rain a little bit longer. And then we had a real heavy snow band that just stayed south of our area. Now, it doesn't mean that we didn't see some significant impacts. We eight and a half inches north Kingstown is uh, a significant amount of snow, and it was snowing hard in South County, at least southern sections of uh, Rhode Island for much of yesterday, late morning and afternoon. Westerly picked up five and a half inches, West Greenwich eight inches, New Bedford seven inches of snow, North Smithfield even with that heavy band yesterday picked up four inches. But the, the heaviest of the snow was in a band that stayed just hugging the coastline most of the day. And while it never made it as far north as we anticipated, in that area, they did see as much as a foot of snow. We'll talk much more about uh, that storm and what's ahead for the rest of the week coming up in just a little bit. All right, we'll see you.